Hi, my name is Sharon. For today's science project, I'm going to be talking about how a motor works with a battery. So I have all the supplies over here. So first, we're going to start with the battery. Uh, every battery has a positive and negative end. And they have like this uh, connecting area in every battery. Next, um, we'll be talking about the wires. Um, they'll have even these sides. And this is the wire that we'll be connecting to the battery like this. Then we have the switch where we can on and off it like that. And then over here we have the connecting wires. Then we have the simple motor where the connecting wires is here and this is the axle of the motor. Then last we have the fan blade which we are going to be connecting to the motor. Okay, I'm done setting up everything right here. So um, the wire is connected. So um, the red wire is the uh, positive wire and the black wire is the negative wire. So the positive wire is connected to the switch. Then the green wire has two sides. So the first side is connected to the switch. Then the other side is connected to the motor. Then the black wire is connected to the motor even. So if you look at the switch, whenever we on it, it works. I'll tell you why. Because whenever whenever you do it like this, mostly the, the switches are covered so that you won't get a shock. But whenever they're not covered, there will be a gap between. So that's how electric current cannot flow. But whenever you on it, then it will be closed so that the electric current can flow nicely. That's how it works. So it's like God is the battery. And he's giving power to the motor because he holds the switch. So whenever you on it, he's letting us work. But whenever you take out the battery like this, it won't work. But if you on the power again, it'll work. So like that, God gives us power. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is my science project.